Hello there everyone. Welcome to another episode of this Macadon campaign with me, Suzevile. So, as it stands, I wasn't able to uh, record last time, so this episode is going to be a bit uh, later. So, sorry about that guys, been quite busy in the last few days. So let's see if we can open up with a small battle over here at the stone cutters. Oh, it's an ambush, but I'm not going to fight it. These are just lighter troops, so I'm just going to auto-resolve this one. Should be easy. Then I'm going to take Pessinus and probably Nicomedia. Last episode was pretty, pretty huge episode, guys. For a while I want that. Enslave the captives. I always like to enslave. I don't know if you guys have uh, additional uh, ideas about it. Just let me know. Let's attack Pessinus. Uh, since they have Eastern Archers, Hillmen, some Bithynian infantry, yeah, let's fight it out just for you guys to see. Oh, if I encircle, I actually don't lose anything. Uh, I'm going to fight the Bithynia over there at Nicomedia, so maybe I'll show that battle instead of this one. So, yeah, that's the idea. Aggressive stance, let's fight it off, and Pessinus is ours. Good. I think that's the whole province of Asia right there, right? Occupy it. Yeah, that's right. So next turn I'm going to have to convert these buildings. That's pretty much it. I did get a general trade. That's good. Yeah, plus two authority. It's always fine. So I cannot make rally effect that's really cool can have the ability of second wind that's good that's nice now Nicomedia you're not exactly really powerful I can just besiege and I do have one Greek ballista that will help out yeah they're quite weak oh my god that's not a garrison army at all the army of the immortals. That's not Bithynian, hey? It should be Pontic army, I believe. But oh well. Uh, I do have some ladders. I cannot construct anything. Why? It's not letting me construct anything, right? Oh, that's because in two turns, yeah. Since it would take more turns, they don't even leave me there that option. Let me assault the walls. At least I'm going to show you if, uh, some battle. I wasn't expecting them to have uh, so few numbers, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Have some archers and the ballista is going to open the gates really easily. It's going to destroy their, um, their towers, so it should be fine, it should be fine. The biggest issue that I have is actually the their own towers, but yeah, should have no problem. Let's check it out. So ends the bloody business of the day. I gotta read the Iliad. If any of you ever have read it, please tell me if it's a light reading at least. I'm joking, by the way. I know it, it, it isn't. Especially if you buy some uh, attempt of uh, reenacting the ancient type of language uh, version. Because some, some versions are, especially on those older books, some versions are, uh, are quite different. They, they try to make it more modern, which I never know if I like it. I tried to read, since I'm Spanish, I tried reading... Uh, Don Quixote and it really didn't pay out So he's not showing me where the artillery pieces are, but I know he has a few So I should go Where should I go? I think I'm gonna go through this area right there. I Do have a few a few hoplites with letters So I'm gonna position them here my ballista is going to be there, or my ballistas are going to be there. They can destroy those arrow towers, and then I can proceed into the middle. I'm going to use my hoplites as a 
um, a screening infantry and my pikemen on the back. Also, I'm gonna have my archers on the front. Just firing your way. Cavalry is never gonna see an action in sieges. Let's check it out. You gentlemen, ballista, destroy the arrow towers. In the expectation of victory, we will go over those Move up. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Yeah, I know. Oh, it miscalculated. I forgot that they, they can't actually go over there. Let's see if I can go here. And here, and at least here. That's three at least. Let's drop the siege equipment. You're gonna try and these men. So, where are his troops? Yeah, basically, slingers there and eastern archers. Few javelin men here. Oh, that's gonna be the target for my cavalry, actually. Yep. Yeah, because are, these are javelin men. Not a big problem. Go, trample. Go. Let's check it out. Destroy them. Man, these charges are so fun. Really. They're so cool. There we go. I can see there are a few troops coming out on our flanks. I wasn't expecting that. My archers are under attack. They have opened their gates. Well, I think I can move my hoplitters there. Good, good. That killed a few of his men. Let's attack that tower as well. Yeah, he's sending a few units. He's kind of trying to sally out. I can just do like this. Pike Infantry, you're gonna protect my ballista from the back. Cavalry, you did your job. Go, go, go! Hoplites! Charge those Bithynian infantry, will you? Let's attack the gatehouse. Yeah, I'm realizing that my FPS is, is quite low. Oh, this Bithynian infantry went down immediately. Ladder is completely destroyed over here. Tower is almost. Come on. Go. Destroy those gatehouses. Or that gatehouse. Where are his reinforcements? There you are. Is this mainly... Oh, it's mainly slingers. Poor boy. Go, go, go! Let's check it out. Will we? Go, go, go! All oh, javelins! Go! Charge! Ha ha ha, look at that momentum. No chance at all. Come, Macedonians! Good One charge. Of units has used all its, ammunition. it's the ballista, yeah. I was noticing. Actually, you're gonna wait there. So, how is everything here? Good. I can move these guys over here. Can I? Can't you attack the. Oh, you sons of. What? <laughs> Okay, let's attack these Eastern Slingers. Come on. Attack those Slingers. Gatehouse is almost nearly, dis it's nearly destroyed. destroyed. You gentlemen are going to attack these Bithynian Infantry. And you can enter over here. Speed is off the essence right there. How is everything here? Go, go, go! I want to see a pike phalanx. These gentlemen will take the city easily. Like every unit of his is in a bad spot. Form the phalanx. Now that's a proper fight, pike phalanx. Finally. Let's check it out. 
the enemy general. Finally, phalanxes are working. <laughs> That's how it is. Not easy going through the that pike, huh? <laughs> Good. So it seems I've gained the towers as well. You gentlemen are going to lower. Go against these whole skirmishers. I think I'm about to win. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> End the battle. Pretty nice battle. I lost 87 men against a thousand of his. Well, that's basically because they didn't have any um, any units on full size. So numbers did it do matter, especially on this side. But that was a, a very intense battle, especially with the reinforcements, you know, and having to deal with both the arrow towers. I liked that one ballista destroyed two towers and wasted almost all of his ammunition. So that's a good statistic to have, like every two towers from a ballista. So that's quite good. That's actually quite good. Like three or four ballistas per army should be able to almost wipe out every defense on a, a city. Good. Province under control, that's Asia, I think. Let's occupy it. How is my objectives? Control 25 settlements. That'll be the whole of Asia and Cilicia. I should have a defensive military alliance with Carthage. I think Carthage was destroyed, actually. So I can't do that. Heavy cavalry, it's fine. Current total, 5, so I should recruit more. And be at war with Rome. I actually don't want to be at war with Rome, for now. Okay, so Nicomedia is ours. We'll have a lot of money to to start converting all these buildings. Ready for orders. Did we gain traits? Yeah, our general gained them. Good. Let's have a strategist. I think Cunning, actually is better for me on some generals I like it uh, I cannot move this cannot move anything yeah oh Asia Asia I should be able to issue an edit there especially because I still am not taxing this province oh really no I am taxing right this is exempt yeah, that's it. Am I not taxing any province at all? No, I'm taxing everything. Let me see my trade and finance. Not Texas. Uh, summary. Texas. It doesn't say which um, which ones are producing taxes or not. So income right there. If I untax them, do they... Oh, okay. Does it show? Yes. So I'm taxing everywhere. Yep. Food is quite good for now. It's quite good. I did capture a few irrigated farms as well. So I can tax these provinces, but now I wonder where should I have the edits actually going on? Because I have one on Macedonia. I don't have anything on Bupupta. How's my faction, by the way? Yeah, I'm gonna need a few more regions before I can issue another edit. Uh, should I go for Asia with an edit? I think so. What would they have? A lot of public order, some wealth. That's good. So I'm gonna take away the edit from Pella or Athens. Athens, I believe. No edict. And you're gonna issue that edict. That's it. Where's bread and games? Bread and games. Good. That's just mainly so I can recover order right here really fast. Nicomedia needs all of these uh, all of these uh, provinces, all of these settlements on the, the east right there. But I'm gonna go through Iconian. I already have Cede, so I should conquer Tarsus and Salamis really fast. We're going to go through Iconian and Syria, like conquer Galatia and Cappadocia. Yeah, that's basically it. Let's end the turn. Oh, I do have something. Yeah, Hounds of Macedon. 
general. Easy. Easy peasy. So, let's end the turn. Okay, so Rome is actually at war with Carthage. So if I ally with Carthage, probably I will get into war with Rome and thus fulfilling all of those. But I was wondering if Carthage was still alive. I, I still didn't check it out. Egypt was destroyed. Yeah, pretty much I've seen that the Nasamonas can actually conquer Egypt really fast. They've done that on my uh, legendary Roman campaign, which I'm not uh, uh, sharing with you. It's just basically because um, I can't share everything. Edit issued, construction report, that's good. You can see that my food is raising really bad. Okay, minus four only, that's good. That means if I convert, I'm actually going to have a lot of uh, good stuff. Yeah, Shrine of Athena. Should I? Yeah, a little bit less food, a little bit less public order. Let's check it out on Nikon Media. Can you convert? You can convert, at least fishing longer. Yeah. This I can dismantle and build a temple next. That's fine. Uh, let me take the that stance right there. Anyone to move? No. There are a few uh, fleets over here. Let me see if I can find them. I can't reach them for now. They won't make a lot of damage. Yeah, you can see they won't make a lot of damage. That's mainly basic fleets. Uh, this one from uh, Pergamon, I'm actually going to engage. But that will be on our next episode. Sorry about that, guys. I'm getting a little bit um, out of time, mostly. I could conquer already Iconian, as you can see, it's undefended. And I think that will be on the next episode. Yeah, because that will draw out this army right here. And Sira, I don't know what's going on there. Do I have another spy? I don't have another spy. Oh, I should recruit another agent here. Let me see, recruit an agent. I cannot. Where is my other spy, actually? I don't have one. Oh, it's wounded, I think. That's one of the best things is, is that when it's wounded it still counts you know for you so that's really annoying really annoying actually so I'm thinking of going against Sinop and Syria and Iconian and keeping this fleet over here at city should help out that's basically it yeah I'm gonna I'm running out of time so I'm gonna wrap this episode uh, for now I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. So, yeah, goodbye.